Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. A lot of folks uh, will be heading outside mm -hmm. this weekend. A lot of stuff going on yeah. around the area. And uh, still, uh, the same old story. Very hot. Just about the same weather forecast as we move into the weekend. However, <laughs> that's normally a good thing if you yes. say however and kind of break it up. We are <laughs> going to see a few showers in Oklahoma. Now, don't count on big rains or downpours or... Maybe a drop or two. Yeah, we're not going to see that much out there. Mainly, it's just going to be a hot weekend. One thing you will notice, we will see a few more clouds. Temperatures the upper 90s to near 100 for a high this weekend. Right now, it's hard to find any clouds out across Tulsa looking out over I-44 and the BA. This afternoon, we will see a few clouds trying to develop during the heating of the day, but only a few of them will have rain. Most of us will miss out on the rain again today. Your temperatures, 93 at noon. We'll see upper 90s toward 3 p.m. and working our way back toward 100 degrees again this afternoon. 88 degrees at the top of the hour, and it's more humid today. The heat index already feels like the low to mid 90s. Not much of a breeze today. The wind is light, and the wind will stay fairly light all day long. 90s now showing up into Bartlesville, where it's 91. A little cooler toward Coffeeville with the upper 80s, but all of us will see temperatures in the upper 90s to near 100 for this afternoon. Not much wind out there. Current wind speeds are five miles an hour or less for most of us. Somewhat of a south wind, kind of the wind arrows almost in all directions across Green County. Country, but the trend is for somewhat of a south wind today. As far as the rain, nothing going on locally. Two things we're watching. There's a big area of rain in Texas that we have our eye on. This is also what we're watching. About 150, 200 miles to the north in Kansas and toward Kansas City, there's a cluster of showers. Now, this rain is going to drop its way toward the south and southeast, but most of this rain is going to stay well to the north of Tulsa. I put in a 10 to 20 percent rain chance for green country today, and this is what it would be coming from. This this area of rain, but it's not going to be anything substantial. And right now, it's having a tough time keeping itself together. Same weather story. Huge high pressure area out to the west, and we're still right on the edge of the high pressure area. And that is allowing for some of that rain to try to make its way toward green country. Now, the computer model forecast will run this into the afternoon hours. It's going to show you a few small areas of green. This means that only a few small showers are going to develop. So rain chances today only at 10 to 20 percent. We'll see a slightly higher rain chance today to the north of Tulsa as you work your way closer to that rain. And about the same forecast again tomorrow. Beginning the day with quiet conditions, then as we go throughout tomorrow, a few showers and thunderstorms will try and form, but I wish I had better news for you. I don't want to get overly optimistic about the rain as we're not going to see that much rain. We're only going to see a few small showers out there, but certainly something to talk about. This afternoon, we're on our way back toward 100 degrees again. We are under an ozone alert. Highs around the rest of green country today, upper 90s to near 100. And then tonight, lows, low to mid-70s in Tulsa, but it does cool down outside of Tulsa County. We'll see 60s again toward Bartlesville, 67. Also may see, may see a few 60s toward McAllister. The seven-day forecast shows only low rain chances. I've lowered the temperatures a tad for Saturday and Sunday, and that is due to more humidity and more clouds. So it's going to feel like 105 each day, but the actual air temperature may be slightly less. Then as we work our way toward next week, highs in the 100s and lows in the mid-70s. Jack DeLauder near Stillwell has all sorts of wildlife on his property, including this one little deer getting a close-up. TV stars fawn in Stillwell. <laughs> he wanted the airtime. That's yeah. right. Beautiful little deer. Yeah. Sure is. All right. Thanks, thank George. you, George.